Hey everyone, my name is Angela Barima. I'm the owner of Queen Angela's Closet. Um, if you are following me on Instagram, my name is, it's a very long, um, super African by the way, uh, screen name, it's Ohaneba Sankofa Ajoa. Um, and I'll have, you know, somewhere listed either below in the blog post because that's where I'll post this. Um, we'll have tags and different buttons so that it's easy for you to find me. Um, but today, I'm excited. I'm actually doing, so if you see this huge piece of fabric, I'm gonna hold it up in front of my face for a bit. Um, this is what I call my body wrapper. So if you notice, it's a kente print, um, and we already have talked about kente print versus kente cloth. And so this is one of the fabrics that I use. It's one of my quick go-tos. Um, I can turn this one piece of fabric into a multitude of things. I mean, it could be a dress, a skirt, a top, a blouse, a head wrap, um, and I use it doing a little bit of what I call my origami uh, body wrap of magic. So that's what I want to show you today. Just a few of my favorite go-tos. If you are in a pinch, if you do not know what to wear, you're heading out to work and you can't go to work naked, so <laughs> what are you going to put on? Um, you can definitely grab one of these. Uh, and again, being able to find these, I'll have links to them. Um, we'll have it listed in the QAC web store. But again, just to be able to a, have something you can pull from in a pinch, and then also uh, budget friendly, right? So you can get multiple uses out of one thing, and I don't know one person who doesn't like that. So first up, we're gonna do a dress. Um, and this dress, if you look, Daily Fashion Fix, that's actually the fashion fun outfit um, feature post of the week today. So I want to start with that one. It's one of my favorites. And yeah, so we're gonna just get started. It's actually a halter look, so I have on my little cute spaghetti straps. I'm just gonna like tuck this on the side so it doesn't show so you can get an actual look on what we're gonna be creating. So that. First thing you want to do is grab the top end of your body wrapper. So we're gonna hold it out, um, and if you notice the tabs on the end, so that's what I'm working with. That's kind of like the DJ Khaled key to getting all of these looks. So first you're going to wrap it around your body, and again you're gonna have tab side to the top. Grab it around your body. I like to kind of tuck one end underneath here so you can have both arms to work with. You're gonna grab one of your tabs and just create a knot. And the secret of creating the knot, you want to pull, so I'm drawing my hands close because, and I'll get a little bit closer, you want to be able to create. So if you look, you're creating a really tight fit um, right around your cleavage. So you're just gonna pull that and it's gonna make a little simple knot. So you're just gonna do that and then pull, pull, pull. There we go. And you have your first knot. Again, we're gonna tuck and then we're gonna work on this end. Grab the tab, pulling it close to your body here. If it doesn't, if the fabric doesn't come, so for example, this closes with lots of extra fabric here, that's perfect. If not, if you have like a little bit of gapping, maybe the fabric doesn't come fully around you, that's okay too. Um, we'll talk about how to fix that. So you have your other tight end. You're gonna tie a knot. And so, you have your two knots. Now what do you do? You just wanna make sure that it's a really close, good fit, and it's going over your shoulder. You're gonna just do a little tie in the back, right? So you can stop here. I mean, this is a really cute cape. And you can just leave it like this. Um, super cute, again, for the fall, if you want to add a nice pop of color, something fun. Um, and you can leave it just like this. But for the sake of this quick tutorial, we're going to make a dress. So now that you have your two knots, you want to pull them together. So I have my little top here, so you can see that. But if you didn't, if you just maybe, for example, had a bra, um, this would give like a nice V-shape look. So I'm kind of pulling down my little t-shirt so you can see that. So, you have your halter here at the top, and then what you do, so today I forgot my belt, but if you have a belt and that's what you would use, you can then just kind of belt it here, like so, and you have a super cute dress. And I'll back up a little bit just so you can see it fully. Turn around. And it's very cute, it's backless, clearly you, know, you can use this. 
We'll tie it in a bow just to make it look a little bit neater. And here you go. So this is a really cute dress. You can wear this for the summer. You can wear this. You can dress it up with heels, different sorts of looks. Great for work. You can put a little blazer over it. Um, and it's nice. And then again, you can open it up and have a really fun cake for the summer. So that is look number one and two. All right, so we are back and we're talking about look number three. So this look, it's a little bit of a we'll say like a little bandeau top, crop top look. And so again, we're starting with our body wrap of fabric. And what we're doing, we're starting as usual with, whoops, our top side, our tab side on the top. And so what we're doing this go round, we're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna fold our tabs and our top parts folding downward. fold in half um, and just a little tip right so we're making a little crop top bandeau top if you are looking for a bit more coverage um, and I know that sometimes we, as ladies we want to cover like our stomach area we want to cover um, our backside area if that is something that you're looking for you can fold this but I recommend don't fold it all the way in half so for example usually we're folding it equal parts half and half like this right down the middle um, but if you're looking for a bit more coverage you don't need to fold it that much. You can fold it right at the quarter and then you see all of this extra fabric that's here on the bottom. Uh, that's gonna be what gives you your coverage. So you can decide what's comfortable for you. Um, just for the sake of this demonstration though, I will do the full half. And so tabs are folded downward and you're just gonna wrap it around your body. So now we've wrapped it and just grab bunches. So we're gonna grab all of the right side all of the left side and again we're going to fold it just in half just like a, you're tying your shoelaces so we're going to fold it in half tuck one underneath and pull and so as you can see this is what gives us that really cute bandeau shape just by doing that and again if you notice because i did the full folding in half uh this top is a very short crop top so in the summer you know I have my t-shirt on right now um, but if I didn't have this tank top on you know then your stomach would be out so again just keep all of that in mind um, if you're a little bit more modest or you want to kind of cover some key areas um, you can fold it in quarters and not the full half so now that we have our cute bandeau top um, what are we doing with all of this extra stuff right so what I like to do I like a little bit of ruffle I like some texture it adds a little bit more fun to our look so just kind of fluff them out a bit. You can play with it. I'll come just a little bit closer so you can see kind of what I'm doing here. So I just like to open them up. Open them up. We have a little bit of ruffles, fun, a little bit of, you know what I mean, a little femininity. And then your tabs, because we can't leave these hanging out. So grab them. So you're just going to literally pick them up wherever they are laying. And you're going to switch hands with them. So switch hands with them. And then you're just going to pull and wrap your tabs around your body, like so. Um, and just make sure you tie them really well. You, what you don't want is to be out somewhere and your top comes unraveled and you're giving someone a peep show. Um, unless that's your thing, then you know, no judgments. But usually you would want that. So just make sure your tabs are tied really well behind you. And there you go. So you have a really cute bandeau top here, right? And I'll come a little bit closer. You can see the details of that. We have our ruffles. It's really fun. And then just reaching over, um, we know it's fall, right? Fall is coming, transition weather time. You can still wear this to work. Um, and I like to wear it to work. I like to always add a little bit of um, fun and pizzazz and pops of color and print to my to my work look and so you can just literally throw on you can throw on a blazer you can throw on a cardigan in this case um, and then suddenly now you're dressed for the fall um, and just for me tall girl hacks right i zhuzh up my sleeve so you can't tell that my cardigan is a little bit short but yeah this is a really good look one of my favorites um, and you can replicate this too